Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So here are three day inverters we're doing in three phase. And it's not been as smooth sailing as I expected it to go. I've had this issue before with um, Victron inverters. So let me show you what we have. We have L1, 8 kilowatt inverter. L2, 8 kilowatt inverter. L3 8 kilowatt inverter and we're running them off a bus bar connected to four Wico um, 5.3 kilowatt hour batteries. The challenge we've had so far is number two. Number two has been turning um, the system off when we turn P when we turn the DC breaker on and I want to show you something maybe you can see what I see. Look at the screen. Look at this screen and look at that screen. See, there's a difference, right? The screens do not look the same. And if you look to the top corner, that screen there has a number. This does not, and this doesn't. So let me step back so you can take a look. Um, we've spent quite a bit of time here. We have um, 400 hour panels on the roof. How many do we have? 27? Yeah, 25. 9, Nine times 3 is 27. Well, 9 times 3, yeah, 27. We have 27 400 watt panels on the roof, and uh, we have surge protection on the DC side. We also have surge protection on the AC side. We have isolators. So this has two sets of panels on it, while this has only one set of panels on it. Um, we also added a battery disconnect. Even though the weaker batteries come with a um, power switch and a contactor in them, we chose to put separate battery disconnects and we have a, sink, a fuse for each inverter. It's open because we thought we were having issues with the communication cables, but it's not the communication cables. It's actually the inverter and our folks in China have pushed through firmware updates and once they pushed it through, this screen changed. So this inverter now is different from the other two inverters. Um, we'll keep working on it till we get it right. I think they're pushing through. F yep, they're pushing through firmware updates on this one. So I think they're going to push through firmware updates that will make this match these. That's what I'm seeing. So when you see those numbers, firmware updates are happening. So let's see how it, how it plays out. I hope I'm able to get out of here. Excited that this is working as it should. I'll come back to you in a sec. Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola is back. Um, we didn't get a resolution to our three phase. Uh, they pushed a bunch of firmware updates. So right now, one of the inverters, we're not letting PV come into it, but we're letting it come into the other. So for now, it's working temporarily. They wants us to do a video call, and then during the video call, they'll take me through what needs to be done to fix it. Now you see components here. There are, let me see, one, two, that's the screen three four five six six components if you recall I had a five kilowatt inverter that um, failed the E has sent me a replacement of every component in that five kilowatt inverter they're giving us a new display a new motherboard um, communications board the screen the SPD uh, whatever that protection is and whatever this board is so I have to put this back together and hopefully I'll get it right. As you could see, there is a, what do you call this? A battery. So this has a clock on it. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, but you know, at least they've made good on the warranty. They are replacing every component instead of just replacing specific components. What blew up was this part. This part here was what blew up, but what we're replacing is everything. And it looks daunting. And challenging but I think I'm up to the task so sometime tomorrow I will take this inverter apart this one that has all this stuff on it and I will start to I'll remove it and then I put all the pieces back inside and hopefully I can report back to you that I did not kill myself or destroy the inverter permanently so once again oh um, I'll talk to you about these batteries um, they came from top band as you can see there's some damage during shipping 
I am not very happy with what I see from them. Uh, no cables, no instruction manuals. They're pretty rugged, pretty, um, you know, what you find from any Chinese vendor. Top Van is supposed to be a top manufacturer of its own cells, and I'm not very impressed. I also have um, the Powerwall equivalent, 6.18 kilowatt hour, and I'm not sure I'll do a video on that one, but I just want to show you that I, I got more batteries. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria, and hopefully I would have resolved the issue with the year by the time I do my next video. Thank you for watching. Please click subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, click like if you like what you see. Don't forget to post comments in the comment section.